Yes, sir. You already know she would be Hayes. We back with another one, guys. Let's go and jump right into it. So, AMC Entertainment, we trading at about $61.70 at the time of this recording, guys. So, the day is trading lovely, just as we expected to. We're not trading in the $70 range yet like we expected to blow past that $64 resistance. We keep getting stopped out. You know, a few days ago, we to 64.80 and on the day we hit a high of 64.95 showing that we keep getting rejected right there but i feel guys it could be power hour towards the end of the day that we bust above or in after hours that we blow through it but we is going to blow through it guys this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor i'm just letting you know what your boy think guys and i feel we is going to bust through that resistance pretty soon and also we having them tighter swings what we talked about you know we had called uh previously when we ran up the 77 dollars high that pre-market the first time we called before making that run we called them swings on 15 20 30 dollar swings and then they happened now on the previous videos we've been calling that a lot of people that made their money, a lot of day traders, a lot of people that just want to get in and out of this thing, they made their money, and now they see the potential that this thing has over the long haul. They were just trying to get quick money in and out and then be mad at themselves from all the potential gains that they missed out on. So with that being said, now people are seeing the, the potential this thing has and they're more willing to hold their positions, guys, and that's how we could tell is from the swing in the price action we usually seen ten dollar swings 15 20 30 dollar swings with amc if you've been paying attention the swings have been much tighter like on today we we didn't really swing much guys we opened up right around 60 bucks 62 dollars and the, when we pulled back around lunchtime the low on the day was right at 60 the high 59 dollars and 59 dollars and 59 cents right at 60 bucks so that pullback wasn't nothing but two bucks two dollars and that's what we had talked about that's what we want to see two dollar pullbacks five dollar pullbacks seven dollar pullbacks at the max showing that people is you know holding their positions with more conviction guys and that's just going to make the squeeze happen even more and show people that oh man this thing not just going up uh, making higher lows and continue the staircase up but it's also having uh tighter pullbacks meaning like people is holding and this thing is bound to happen when you see things like that guys so this thing is trading pretty lovely today guys i'm in love with the usually around 12 o'clock at lunchtime it'd be a sell-off people go on lunch the stock sell off so with that being said amc we only pulled back to about 60 bucks. The low today was 59.59. Just pulling back to that, to that, uh, to that $60 level. That's showing us that this thing is holding that 60 level firmly, and we're not trying to go back to them $50 levels. We trading in the 60, the, in between 60 and 64 right now, almost touching 65. As soon as we bust through 64, we going straight back to the 70s and to retest that all-time high of 77, guys. And that's going to be when FOMO kicks in and the rich people is not want, the, the rich people is going to have FOMO and fear of missing out on and in fear of you know individual investors and the poor becoming wealthier than them. So they is not going to going to want to miss this chance, guys. And like I say, everybody different different levels in life, different tax brackets. Everybody got an amount. Ain't nobody trying to lose no money, but everybody got an amount that they're willing to lose that they'll be okay with. And the rich people amount that they're willing to lose is way greater than our amount. So they got a hundred thousand, a million dollars they can put in the line and be willing to lose. But that million dollars could easily get them ten, twenty, a hundred million off that big one million dollar investment so you get what i'm saying and that will boost their wealth way you get keep that keep that gap they're gonna always want to keep that gap in between us and them but baby we steady filling that gap because over here we get into it baby we get into it that's all i got for y'all this video i just want to give y'all a quick update on that and let you guys know that it is trading beautifully and how we didn't sell off at lunchtime like we usually do that's a great sign that this thing is ready to bust above that 64 resistance. Hopefully towards power hour, we get more buying pressure and more, more, more momentum. When people see this cup and handle, 
pattern forming and this thing could just spike right on up guys so that's all i got for y'all this video i love y'all we out and god bless